First of all, everyone's going to talk about you being a disciple of Sean McVay. Mm -hmm. What are some of the key things that you've learned from Sean along the way? Um, formation marriage, you know, we talk about the illusion of complexity, trying to do the same things over and over again from our repetition standpoint, but creating a different picture to the defense. So uh, things that we practice and practice and practice and do, well, let's just present it a different way with a different personnel grouping, a different picture, a different motion, a different shift uh, to maybe just give a little bit of a different uh, look to the defense and then get the ball in the best player's hands and see what happens. Now you come from a football family, so what takeaways did you have from your father and your, yeah. your grandpa? Simplicity <laughs> is always the best. We, we as coaches seem to uh, make things difficult. You know, we, we make it hard. Uh, we, we, all, we at times overthink and overanalyze, and this game in its purest form, when you think about Pop Warner, well, man, let's just get the ball to our best player and see what happens. I know it's not that simple because of the minds and the athletes that are in the National Football League, but let's try to keep things simple in a lot of ways and just get the ball to your best player and see what happens. So change is scary for a lot of fans out there when they're seeing it. For you coming in, just when assessing the bones of this offense, how easy of a transition is this going to be for you coming in and also for the players to learn right. what you're bringing to the table? I think it'll be pretty seamless. You know, when you, when you talk about what David done from a formation terminology standpoint, you know, the fundamentals and techniques of football are kind of remain the same, although you want to try to continue to improve in that in those areas. Um, I got to believe this will be a pretty seamless transition uh, from both the scheme and the, and the overall chess culture. It seems like it's a fit and, and what these guys did and how they weathered that storm last Last year, man, it seems like a pretty strong culture. What made Tampa Bay the choice for you? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you spent two different stints at Kentucky. Yeah. You know, I'm assuming that place is very fond yeah. in your heart. Just yeah. what did it mean to kind of break away, and what made this the opportunity to do it? Um, well, I've got a supportive family. I've got a supportive wife, and um, that makes things easier when you have that. And and I think my wife actually understood what what my dream is. My dream is to ultimately call plays in, in the National Football League and, and be in the best league of football. I mean, this is one of 32, right, in, in the world. And so to have this opportunity presented, but also to be supported in the way that I am uh, and the way that our whole family is. I mean, this just became uh, such a desirable place to go live. My dad's around here. You know, we, we love it. Our families love it. And, and this is going to be a really good situation, hopefully. Now, there were a lot of offensive coordinator jobs open this cycle, but your name wasn't really floated out about there was were you was it going to take something special yeah. to to take you mm -hmm. away and and yep. what was it about really the the bones of the Buccaneers that were like right. okay this is the spot you know we, we were involved with Chicago for a little while mm -hmm. um, and then you know ultimately when I came back to Kentucky um, and, and this is frustrating this is hard to, to say I wanted to give my word of, of staying for a few years mm -hmm. um, specifically for the kids mm -hmm. and um, then when you're, you're presented an op like this, that uh, with a first class organization, with a guy that I just potentially just coached, um, and the skilled players and all the, all the, the weapons that this place has, um, they, win a, they win a playoff game, win the division, and there's a lot of room for growth. Those are the opportunities that you want to go find. And a place like Tampa was pretty, uh, pretty enticing. And then finally, we know nothing is set in stone right now, but Baker Mayfield would we know would love to come back to Tampa. You right. worked with him. Just what would it mean for you to work alongside Baker again and, and really have him leading the charge here? Huge. I mean, he, he just makes football fun. He makes coming to work fun every day. Um, he, he's an igniter. I mean, he's just the type of person that you want to be around. And um, you just saw it in, in the challenge the other day at the Pro Bowl. His arm doesn't fatigue, man. <laughs> he's got an absolute rip, and those are the kind of guys you want to be around. So hopefully if we can get that done, I mean, uh, that'll make this thing even more fun. But uh, I'm, uh, I'm just hey, wish him the best, but he, he's a total stud.